Welcome back, one and all, to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time I was super professional, kept everything going smoothly, and we got some new toys. A standard issue Trinity Assault Rifle, and a presumably 9mm Colt or a 45 caliber handgun. Some kind of handgun. Doesn't matter. Let's keep moving. Oh, and I explored a tomb last time, too, that gave me a little trouble. Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. Could be literal twins that are just dicking around. <laughs> a dog's trying to say hello to my sister's cat. Or maybe not. Give me one minute. I have to cut the video and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My dog is... Well, she's a pain in the neck, but she's a sweet baby girl. Watch your foot. Watch your foot. There you go. If you're going to hang out here with me, you got to lie down and be good. Okay. I adopted her just a few days ago. On the 27th of September. <sighs> Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? You lose your tour group or something? <sighs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. You know, for somebody who is supposed to be deep in the South American jungle, oh. she speaks very good English. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but and the is only lacking an accent. In town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. That's Happy all I'm saying. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. They could have hired a Hispanic actress, but... <sighs> so... What are you here for exactly? Well, we There's a slight Latin accent. The plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's cruising pretty low. Still at an alarming we speed. We are looking for Mayan ruins. Mayan? You know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Long Come story. up here if you want. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah, you were gutting a fish in the first game, so... Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There's some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this. Don't be on so it. antsy now. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, oh guess, she hears my But father. I guarantee oh, they're oh, not oh, Mayan. Okay. My people were Inca and proud of it. Okay. Okay, now uh, you uh, want back outside. Why don't you rest you want back out of here. for okay. a while? You sure? You are a I promise you a day off. Go on. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to that. In and out, in and out. Have fun. I'm gonna just rig up a freaking dog door on my bedroom door. Hmm. So, are you and Lara... Friends. Colleagues. She's brilliant. Hmm. So, you're not... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Nothing like that. No, I'm, uh, pretty single. Interesting. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. Those textures failing on her bow. On. Quiver, I mean. Thank you. My pleasure. Two years have been working up. To never to ask her out. I finally do. And now, who is that guy anyway?
Hey, you want to know your way around Kuakiaku? Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go, and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, but his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Nomar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. Mission available. Okay. A merchant. Oh, let's check out that mission available. Looks like a charming little town. There's definitely power. I know it sounds. Omar, they've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's. Oh, Holy Let me watch shit. The damn game. Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> What little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Neither do I. Actually, well, not challenged in the typical sense. You know what I mean. Omar? Who are you? Looking for work? Um... Figures to be a well, white you're out dude. Of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Short little missions. I actually like that. There are missions in the last one, too. Bienvenidos! There's supposed to be a base camp here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. I could have made a unique one at the Thank fire pit at the bar. The storm barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane. But it could have been much worse. What have I done? What if the earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it. You don't know if it was you, Lara. It probably was, but we don't know it for fact. Power speed. Proposes drop. That's okay, that'll be useful. Inventory. Now I can upgrade. <clears throat> oh, I do have an upgrade available here. Wrap string, sure. But before I do that, let's look at my handgun. Polished barrel. Looks like a basic Colt handgun. Yeah, it's a Colt 1911. 45 AB. It's 45 caliber. It's mod looks yeah, it's modeled after the Colt 1911. A counterweight. Hollowed out hammer. Polished magazine and an Extended magazine. Now let's take a look at that rifle. 
match grade barrel, a muzzle brake, a custom grip, a padded stock. That's a folding stock, so... I forget what this weapon is modeled after, but is the Israeli army loves them because they're compact and convenient. Especially their police force likes them. Modified firing pin, barrel shroud, an extended mag. Let's get that wrapped string. I need more whatever it's called. I like the fact that I don't just start out with a crap bow. I actually start out with something useful. Nothing to say. Oh, it's that guy. Well, okay. Well, yeah, he looks like a douchebag, so it would be him. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? I blew out my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise he'd keep working your son. Yeah. Okay, you're I'm an alright guy. That's Omar keep Pablo up there, bag, Even though. if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. This wet all is being troublesome. I actually didn't look up if there's poisonous eels or not. In South America. More than likely, there is. Oh, it's probably poisonous eels in the United States. Round back. Okay, there's a fence there. Uh, I have a friend of the family that lives in Mexico, actually. He's an American citizen. He's originally from, I think, El Salvador. But he lives in what they call a Americana village. Please help me. Are you Pablo? Are you okay? You're coming after me? Are you Pablo? Yes. Okay, okay. now I'm Your not gonna feel bad about Abby's. killing these fuckers. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of here. I will not feel bad about killing these fuckers if they're gonna work a child to death. That doesn't sound good.
shit. You make it high to me, Poncho? Huh? You don't want to end up like your friend here. I'd do as the man says. Oh, you did not just move. Ah, oh, come on. Will you stop moving? I just want to you put an arrow in your suck. brain. Douchebag! Look over there! Why what doesn't belong? Help me. Yeah, we're I'm here to help. Check this out. Nah, stupid fucking thing. A shrapnel grenade, excuse me. Okay, that is gruesome. He survived that. Not the silly, not the soundies. Invasive species return to Marco. I was happy to Gather clear up this rip go back to the village. Thank you. You're Please more than you. welcome. <laughs> we <laughs> been going for about twenty minutes. So I'm gonna turn in this quest and I'll call it an episode. It's kind of weird how they call it Invasive Species, though, because despite being white, his name was Omar, and he's probably from close by. So, I don't think that would be the proper term. They name like Frank or Bob or something, like, they tried to... Give an American name and make more sense to be called. Never mind. I'm thinking too hard about this. Did you see him? No. Yeah, he was running toward Abyss. Good. I hope he's okay. But an invasive species, they are a species that has been artificially introduced into a new environment. For example, the tropical fish you buy at the pet store, if you go and release them in your local pond or lake, they could become an invasive species if they start breeding. Pablo told me what you did. I... I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? 
My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. Uh... The Riverhawk. Okay, I got me a new pistol. Unwelcome guests. Help thy neighbor. Okay. Two skill points available. Which means I can get a better one. Owl's Wisdom. Real challenge. Objects while survive using survival instincts. Cool. Owl's Vision. Oh. Okay. That's cool, and this is what story rewards. This game doesn't seem to have near as many tombs. I mean, that's that's okay. Do I have anything else I can pick up for one skill point? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's do a brief double check. It's gonna bug me seeing that. Yeah, I don't have enough. Okay. Oh, it's already equipped. Oh, I don't... Wait, I didn't do anything for the pistol. I want to say this is a... I hope this is applied to all pistols. Uh, as far as I can tell, no, but those are two different upgrades, so... I have to wait and find out. Okay, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Shadow of the Tomb Raider as I go forward with the main quest. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.